Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to connect a free GNOME domain to Microsoft Office 365. So first of all, if you haven't registered a free GNOME domain, go to free GNOME site, that's freenom.com and register a domain. Then, uh, you need to like, yeah, basically when you register a domain, you need to sign up. So then, click on services, after you sign, sign in, uh, click on, so for, yeah, I didn't sign in right. So I'm gonna sign in. So right now I already signed in. If you haven't signed in, just sign up for an account already. Just sign up for one after you click on sign up. So you click on sign in, and you see I have an account. Then and now uh, I signed in to my account. Then you need to go to services my domains then click on the domain which you want to manage and add to Microsoft Office 365 then click on and right now I'm using my domain that is itnation.tk then go to manage renom DNS then what we need to do is okay then you need to add an Normally, TXT doesn't work, so right now I'm in the um, Microsoft 365 Admin Center. Then you go to Domains, then add domain right here. I that is my domain is itnation.tk. Then use this domain. I'm just gonna use this domain. So right now uh, they're verifying that this domain actually exists. Now, uh, like I'm, if you can't add a TXT, add an MX record. So that's what I said. TXT doesn't work. So I'll choose an MX record. So now we click on continue. Then, uh, uh just forget about the. Uh, I think. Um, add works in the MX. So let me just go to MX, copy, add, paste, then priority. Priority is. Oh no, no, that's a target, right? No. Yeah, sorry. But I think. Okay, which one was it? Which one was the thing I copied? Oh yeah, points to okay, uh, the target. Now paste. Now the priority is 32767. And then paste. So I don't think uh, the ad is gonna work, so I just I'm just gonna skip it. They yeah, they allow it see or skip or skip if it's not supported by the provider. Then now what you need to do is save the changes. Now it's basically loading. Then what you need to do is go to the admin center. It basically takes some time to verify. So yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna pause it and go back. Hey guys, I'm back and now it has been almost an hour like I forgot to check on it but you can you guys can just keep it for 10 minutes so now we I already added this domain I show you like the record uh, yeah I already added it now let me try to verify it okay now I'm verifying it hmm. okay right now it's kind of verified now I will more options I will okay set up the online services for me. You should not set up. You should not take the first option. That uh, that does not work. I already tried that. So you need to select the second option after verifying the MX. Now after this loads, let me just load it. It's right now loading it. So the required name servers are. Oh, okay, okay. The required name servers are 
exchange online then skype on yeah then you need to choose skype for business if, if needed and in tune mobile device management then after that click on continue now they're processing it i need to okay so after this so after this what you need to do is they'll give you a bunch of name servers and you need to go to the renom site and you need to uh, like change your dna uh, yeah renom uh, dns name servers to the microsoft online name server right now loading and guys uh, if you like this video if you, yeah I hope you like this video and if you like if you did you need to like and subscribe this video <laughs> like this video and subscribe to my channel that will help me a lot okay right now it came now okay no. okay Okay, continue. Can't continue. Then now these are the name servers you just need. You just need. Okay, so first the co copy the first one, then go to go back. Actually, sorry. Or I forgot to sign in. I I need to sign in again. Okay, now it's fine. Okay, right now I'm signed in to, my, to the control panel and now I need to go to my domains I mean the services option right here click on it then it will take you to my domains so after you click on my domains you need to change the uh, default phenom name servers to the Microsoft online name servers and I'll show you how to do it and then Choose a domain which you want it to change the change the name and name servers. Manage domain. Then click on the management tools option and click on name servers. Then use custom name servers. Name server one is this thing. Copy the name server two. Copy the name server two. Then copy the name server 3 and paste it there. And lastly, copy the name server 4. Now paste it to the name server 4. Now click on change name servers. Now this will actually change the name servers for you. You don't need to do anything else. And then you need in Microsoft in the uh, the Microsoft 365 Admin Center. You need to click on Continue after this. So let it just load. Let's just well, let's just wait for it to come. So hey guys, I've successfully connected the domain. Uh, because right now I just stopped the process I didn't want to connect this domain because I already have a domain but you guys need to connect the domain okay so I hope you like this video and if you did like this video and subscribe to my channel because it will help me a lot and I'll see you in my next video